The United States Department of Labor released its Productivity and Costs by Industry report. The report provides statistics for merchant wholesalers that sell grocery products, food in grocery stores, and food service. In 2018, labor productivity for food service climbed 1.6%. While hours and output increased, specialty food stores saw one of the biggest drops in productivity, which is down 7.4% from last year. Merchant wholesalers of non-durable goods in the grocery industry saw productivity decrease by 1.9%. For more on this, subscribers should click on the news link in Comptel. Now we'll take a look at Erner Barry's HRI Buyer's Guide, a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Here's news assistant Ryan Doyle with the latest movers of the week. Egg prices fell to the lowest levels ever reported for the month of June. The market appears to be settling at these lows as producers have reduced the national flock by over 14 million layers over the last three months. Demand is seasonal at best, but should improve as we edge closer to the back to school period. In the chicken market, waning seasonal demand patterns and record high production levels have resulted in a depreciation in chicken breast meat values. This pushed boneless, skinless breasts down almost 7%. Thin meats have started to present a value to HRI buyers as these items typically fall harder than the overall market when things slow. With the dog days of summer in full swing, that is exactly what is happening. Peeled tri-tips fell nearly 13% this week. Thanks Ryan. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit Comtel for the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by Episano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Episano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.